All right, this weekend, the Portland Saturday market returns to the downtown waterfront, and we are headed for a perfect weather weekend to support our local vendors. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. It's a nice way to spend the weekend. But despite the reopening, there are also concerns, though, that the market is in danger of closing permanently, which would be a huge loss to our community. Joining us live right now, though, to tell us how Portlanders can help keep it going is Market Executive Director Howie Bierbaum and the owner of Wandering Goods, Troy Green. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. So, Howie, I know that this is the 48th season of the market, but what can people expect this weekend? I know things will be a little different with safety in mind. Well, it's going to be 85 degrees, so that's a rarity in Portland in April. Mm -hmm. so we're and then uh, besides that, um, we'll have COVID safety in place, just like we did last year, six, six feet between the booths. Uh, hand sanitizer galore at both booths and at all points of entry and um, all vendors and staff will be masked up. Customers are strongly encouraged to mask, uh, mask up. And last year we found that like 97% of customers masked up because it's Portland and they're conscientious. So we appreciate that. And it's going to be a gorgeous weekend on the waterfront. So uh, all our returning vendors are excited to come back, including Troy. And um, we have some new food, and I think it's going to be a really perfect day to come downtown. It looks great downtown, by the way. The city has done a great job cleaning up the neighborhood. People are going to be pleasantly surprised when they arrive. Oh, yeah, it does sound like it will be just the perfect weekend. So, you know, for Troy, as, as a vendor, why is this market so important to you? Uh, I think it provides a platform for people that are in our own community to uh, to basically show off their their skills and uh, and do it at a level where they can actually make a living doing it. And that's what this this COVID has kind of thrown a curveball for everybody because they want to be involved in their communities uh, very very much. So. For me, I, I get to do what I love while being supported by locals, and uh, and and when tourism gets back going, we'll be uh, we'll be in a, a better place as well. Yeah, looking forward to that too. And mm -hmm. Howie, can you tell us about the GoFundMe campaign that you have to save the market? Because I know this has been such a difficult past year. Yeah, uh, despite government funding, we got PPP loans and some grants from the state of Oregon. We had a huge loss last year because, frankly, we were only open about 22% of the season and we had 100% of the bills. We didn't get rent reductions or, you know, you still got to pay insurance and everything else. So we had a substantial loss last year and we're hoping to uh, stabilize and people can go to portlandsaturdaymarket.com and click on the donate tab and they'll be able to give what they can to support the market. And the campaign's been going great. We've gotten a lot of beautiful feedback from people that has been really inspiring and encourages us to keep on keeping on. So I want to state that we'll only be open Saturdays for the foreseeable future from 10 to 5. And if things go well, we'll be open Sundays as well. Yeah, I saw you had some local celebrities in that ad campaign, like a Storm Large and the Unipiper. So hopefully, you know, that will drum up uh, even more support. Uh, Troy, I want to ask you about your products that you sell and, and all your goods that you have out there. Yeah, I... Uh... I started a, a handmade vegan soap company. It's all natural products, so we don't use any uh, synthetic uh, fragrances or uh, colorants. It's all uh, essential oils and uh, botanicals. Everything that we do is basically uh, geared towards not just cleansing the body, but uh, but being helpful for this for what goes down the drain. Uh, so we do uh, everything with with care and purpose. Uh, trying to uh, isolate, you know, what, what people are, are looking for um, in, in a market of uh, Bath and Body. So, and it's all vegan, so we don't use any uh, animal products. I love the packaging and it looks great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And before we go, Howie, uh, how much are you needing to raise at this point to help you guys keep going? Uh, 150,000 would be our goal. Um, we're about, we're, we've raised about 40,000 to date over the past couple of weeks and the campaign will stay on until we reach our goal and um, we're hopeful we'll get there and we'll be around for our 50th anniversary in a couple of years. Absolutely, I'm hopeful too. Well, thank you both for joining us, Howie and Troy. Good luck with this weekend. Thank you.
Okay, come on down. Yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> and to check out the hours and the vendors that will be participating, we're going to have a link to the Saturday Markets website at coin.com. And the fort the fort